Hi, I'm Mike Marchetti, and I get to teach your child AP Calculus AB this year. Uh, I'm always very excited to do that, but this year, it's a historical year. Uh, I just think that the ramifications of what we're going to do this year are going to change education for the better in the future, not just at Central Academy or Iowa, but in the nation and the world. We're really going to come up with some amazing things that we hadn't come up with before because of the ability to access all of this technology. Uh, parent night usually has the question, what will class be like? What do my students need? First of all, let's go to materials. Um, your kids will be getting a code for an electronic version of their textbook. What a great enhancement over what we've had in the past. Uh, there will be videos that go along with examples. There will be step-by-step -step work through many homework problems to guide students who need some assistance. It, just that alone is a tremendous improvement over what we've had in the past. Calculators, um, if we're not back in person in the second semester, we'll have to have a bigger discussion about calculators because the kids will have to use them on the AP exam. For the time being, I will be able to help the students find electronic sites, uh, Desmos, GeoGebra, Wolfram Alpha, things like that, where they can utilize the graphing and analytical features that we need from calculators for this semester. If they wanna purchase a calculator, a Texas Instruments Inspire CX CAS, C-A-S, is the type of calculator that they should get. It's in no way a requirement right now. I have a classroom set in my room for us to use when we come back and meet physically. Uh, daily routines, there's gonna be work. <laughs> there's gonna be practice that's required. We can't learn enough calculus just in the classroom, most of us can't, uh, to internalize everything and learn it really well. There's always been plenty of work in calculus. There will continue to be. The cool thing this year is there are going to be all kinds of really targeted specific links that I can just drop into pages in our notes, put into Canvas, put into our Teams meetings, uh, email somebody when they need help. A lot of really awesome things are on board for this year. Uh, my beliefs about teaching and learning go along with the curriculum that I utilize. And the short version of it is people don't learn well being passive listeners. They need to be active participants in the mathematics. Uh, that means we're going to have lots of opportunities where even though we start off our daily routine in a large Teams meeting, students go to their tables, which I've created electronically. Uh, you might have called them breakout rooms in Zoom. But just like in my physical classroom where the kids work at tables, we're going to go to electronic tables. They're going to be able to collaborate. They're going to share their electronic whiteboards. Uh, they're going to be able to talk with each other in a small group. And then we're going to come back to large group and discuss what we have found. Um, that's the style of learning that I know is important. It's had tremendous results in nearly three decades now of teaching, which is hard to believe. And we're going to continue doing that and it's going to work really well. However, WEWIG is an acronym I came up with this morning because I think we need something like this. Uh, pronounced phonetically, it means a tiny problem. And that's what we're going to try as students, teachers, parents. We're going to try to remember that the technology glitches and failures on one day and so forth, they're going to be tiny problems. I'm going to have all kinds of things built in, be it recordings of the Teams meetings or static material that students can read or links that they can follow to help them out if they have any technology glitches that prevent them from participating fully. The acronym stands for, we'll have excitement eventually, we'll handle it gracefully. And gracefully from my end means I'm not going to do a scorched earth response to someone who's having challenges with technology, right? I'm going to try to patiently help. 
We might have to postpone dealing with that until after the big class meeting. I don't know what will happen, but there will be grace extended from my end. I ask for the same back from you, the families and the students. We're just not gonna let things blow up into big deals. We'll, we'll handle them as they occur. Um, a classic example is one of my stories from the remote front lines. I've been able to see my children for more than a week now learning remotely. I've learned a ton. Um, and their teachers certainly have also, and we've been emailing back and forth. And last night from one of the boys, I got an email saying, I used breakout rooms for the first time and, and you were right, it was really great. Um, except for the fact that I crashed the entire class the first time that I sent the kids to the breakout rooms. And it really was a good lesson. My son was very excited about what they'd learned, but that's how that lesson started was with a crash of the entire class. These things will happen this year. We're gonna deal with them. We are not gonna let them inhibit our learning. And I really do believe that it's gonna be a year where the learning is even easier than it's ever been. I got into teaching because I really value the opportunity to help be an important part in children's growth and development. I treasure the ability to be a teacher. I look forward to new classes every year and I'm really excited to teach your child in AP Calculus this year and we'll have a great time.